gleams of the golden morning, October 7. While all the world is plunged into darkness, there will be a light in every dwelling place of the saints. Uh, they will catch the first light of his uh, second appearing. Soon, uh, they'll appear in the east a small black cloud about half the size of a man's hand. It is the cloud which surrounds the Savior and which seems in the distance uh, to be uh, shrouded in darkness. Uh, but understand that the Bible in Matthew chapter 24 and verse 27, uh, this is what it says. It says, For as the lightning cometh out of the east, and shineth even unto the west, uh, so also the coming of the Son of Man uh, shall be. Uh, as we look at the coming of the Son of Man, uh, this is one of the most reassuring themes of Scripture. It tells us a few things. It tells us, number one, uh, that one day sickness uh, will be over. It tells us, number two, a pain and sorrow uh, will be over. It tells us, number three, the devil has lost the battle. It tells us, number four, Eden will be restored. Uh, understand that today, uh, you might be wondering how to purchase a home in the restored Eden. Uh, but one should understand uh, that it is not uh, for sale. Uh, uh, Eden is not uh, for sale. Why? Because Christ has already paid the price. Eden will be restored and you and I would have a chance to live in restored Eden without paying a cent, without paying a mortgage. Why not trust his word uh, today? Let us ask God for a longing desire uh, for that Edenic home. Uh, that is the power of his word. Why not let us pray? Uh, Father, we thank you for all that you have done. And Father, we crave your return. We pray that you would grant us a longing desire uh, to live with you even in our Eden restored home. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember, my dear friends, the power of the word every day will keep the enemy at bay.